हेलो एवरीवन सो न्यू सेशन 2023-24 वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद एज आई टोल्ड यू दैट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद आईसीएससी सीबीएसई बोथ ग्रेड टेंथ इलेवेंथ एंड ट्वेल्थ ऑफ कोर्स वी आर मेकिंग ऑन द अदर चैनल नीट बाय इन नीट इज इजी नाउ सो here in this video we'll talk about cell division and cell cycle which is the first chapter of icsc in my upcoming videos i've divided days in my upcoming videos we will be talking about cbsc first chapter that is life processes so uh, simultaneously videos will be posted so you can share it with your friends uh, juniors seniors whosoever is you know uh, can benefit from these so starting up with icsc syllabus first chapter cell division cell cycle we'll move in a in continuation you will get these videos uploaded please stay tuned ring the uh, click the uh, bell icon so that you can get the notifications whenever the video is uploaded please watch the videos and help the channel grow so without any further ado we'll start with the chapter cell division cell cycle now i'm going to take up the chapter as we take up the chapter in the class so say stay tuned your notebooks and pencils in your hands so starting with cell division first of all we must understand what is cell division now what is cell division basically a cell divides to perform different functions fine why will a cell divide a single cell divides into many or multiple maybe a single cell divides into two those two further divide further divide and further divide so this cell division is required for multiple uh, purposes for growth for repair for repl re replacement and even for reproduction so the cell division will help the organism carry on the life in a proper manner let's understand how many types of cell division are there so that we can understand its importance as well cell division is of two types mitosis and meiosis mitosis and meiosis are two types of cell division now as these are two types of cell division the place where they take place is also different and their role or function or importance or significance is also different <clears throat> mitosis it takes place in the somatic cells now when i say somatic cells i mean to say body cells from head to toe the process of mitosis take place in the somatic cells or the body cells leaving apart the gonads or the uh, reproductive structures in males as well as females where meiosis is going to take place so meiosis take place in the gonads this is the main difference mitosis will be taking place in all the body cells head to toe meiosis will take place only in the reproductive uh, structures gonads which we collectively uh, call gonads gonads as in divided into two in males um, it's the testes which take which undergo meiosis and in females it's the ovary which undergoes meiosis and again their function is to produce gametes so they eventually are going to produce gametes but when we talk about mitosis mitosis as takes place from head to toe throughout the body leaving apart the gonads it is responsible for repair of the cells replacement of the worn out cells then formation of the new cells repair replacement growth even for that matter is responsible is uh, a part of that once gametes are formed they fuse to form zygote and zygote major further divisions are taking place that is mitosis happening which leads to growth in an individual we all know that we start our life from a single cell the zygote the zygote continuously divides 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 and further forms the baby which further grows into a human being so there is continuous process of cell division taking place in our body now i hope this is very well clear to everyone there are multiple other exceptions also like for example the neurons or the brain cells they don't divide so there are these cells which won't divide in your body once they are formed they are there they can be damaged and they can be destroyed but they are not formed again so i am again 
taking a minute to revise and then we'll continue mitosis takes place in somatic cells or body cells meiosis takes place in gonads gonads as in testes in case of <coughs> males and ovaries in case of females which further are going to form the gametes by the process of meiosis mitosis are responsible for repair replacement and growth now we are going to take up mitosis in detail as we have it in our course meiosis in short and then uske baad in our upcoming videos we'll be talking about the significance we have not discussed the significance yet we'll be talking about the significance and also the proper differentiation between mitosis and meiosis because we'll be done with mitosis and meiosis at that point of time so let's start with the process of mitosis first okay so we are going to start with mitosis again it takes place in the somatic cells i am using this term time and again rather using body cells because this is the term somatic cells which are going which you are going to write in your papers right rather, rather writing body cells so learn somatic cells now mitosis has different phase or takes place in different phases but always remember a cell when undergoes cell division it has to enter a proper phase and as and when a cell starts dividing the first phase in which any cell is is known as interphase now interphase is also known as a resting stage agar ek cell interphase mein nahi aayega it cannot undergo the process of cell division it cannot undergo prophase metaphase anaphase telophase nahi ho sakti usme if it does not enter interphase so interphase is the resting stage jo ye batata hai that now the cell is going to start the cell division after interphase the next phase which the cell enters in is prophase which we will talk about a under two headings we'll be talking about the early prophase and we'll talk about the late prophase a minute difference among the two so interphase prophase then we have metaphase which is only one no late no early and after metaphase <coughs> there is ana phase which we'll be discussing again under two headings early and late and finally we have the last stage known as telo phase the first and foremost thing which you need to understand or learn actually about the phases is their names and in a sequence so it is interphase so i'll just label them 1 2 3 four and fifth so interphase prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase so this is how we carry on or the cell carries on with the process of cell division let's understand all of them one by one first of all whenever we make a cell in grade 9th you have made a cell fine there is a cell membrane and then there is a nucleus in the center cytoplasm hai aur usme bahut sare organelles hain यहां पे विल ओनली बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द सेल ऑर्गेनल्स विच आर इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर सेल डिविजन उसके अलावा ऑल द ऑर्गेनिजल आर देयर बट वी आर नॉट मेकिंग इट ठीक है ये बहुत कंफ्यूजन होती है बच्चों को कि बाकी ऑर्गेनल्स कहां गए वो वही है बट हम उसे बना नहीं रहे हैं बिकॉज वी आर जस्ट फोकसिंग ऑन सेल डिविजन हेयर सो लेट सी अगेन अगर एक सेल बना रहे हैं हैज टू हैव अ सेल मेम्रेन एंड a cell membrane after a cell membrane there has to have a nucleus there should be a nucleolus present and the thread like structure known as chromatin material and again an organelle which is very important plays a very important role in cell division that is the centrosome if you remember in grade 9 we have done that centrosome is the cell organelle only present in animal cells not in plant cells and is very important for cell division so let's label them i i'll be using short forms also because we don't have that much of space so this is cell membrane a very common one fine jo important hoenge usko main naam likh dungi then is centrosome 
न्यूक्लियर मेम्ब्रेन न्यूक्लियोलस एंड क्रोमैटिन फाइबर फाइन सो दिस इज अ स्टेट वेयर इन the cell is now ready for the process of cell division this is known as interphase and this interphase is now going to enter into the prophase let's see prophase i am making two simultaneously let's have some more space here because we'll have telophase also early and late hota hai but hum usko ek mein hi kar lenge and our phase let's see okay so now as and when from interphase the cell enters into the prophase the first change which happens is that the centrosome it divides into two separate centrioles in early prophase the nuclear membrane is intact and this chromatin fiber it condenses to form chromosomes now condenses um, i am making four because we are going to talk about uh, the division as chromosomes being in pairs to hamare liye three banana is not possible jagah choti hai we'll just make four here we have 46 if we talk about humans फाइन तो यहां फोर्टी सिक्स क्रोमोजोम बनेंगे बट अभी जस्ट फॉर योर एक्सप्लेनेशन आई एम मेकिंग फोर सो दिस क्रोमैटिक मटीरियल विच इज जस्ट अ थ्रेड हैज नाउ कंडेंस 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 थिक हो गया है वो एंड इट हैज फॉर्म द क्रोमोजोम नाउ आफ्टर इमीडिएटली आफ्टर अर्ली द सेल एंटर्स इन टू द लेट prophase wherein the nuclear membrane starts disappearing kind of disappears the centro centrioles move to the poles here and there are these spindle fibers which are formed and the chromosomes they are with the help of centromere they are attached to the spindle fiber let's see a magnified view kaisa hota hai chromosome this is how a chromosome is center mein yahan pe there is a centromere agar main if i show you how is it placed in spindle fiber to ye ek spindle fiber hai and with the help of centromere this chromosome is aligned on the spindle fiber spindle fiber is are kind of imaginary lines not exactly present fine so this is how it is let's label the same things to be labeled again the new things which um, i am not going to label the cell membrane and again again and again i am just labeling the new ones these are ester rays ester rays what are ester rays let's magnify and see this is a centriole it give rise to these rays here and some of the rays they extend to form spindle fibers like this aur baki jo hai they are here so if i label them these are ester rays and these are spindle fibers so if the question uh, comes that what part or which cell organelle give rise to spindle fibers it is centrioles what are the um, initiation initiation initiating lines of spindle fibers those are esterases fine so this is it here in nuclear membrane has disappeared or is disappearing centrioles have moved to the poles and there are chromosomes which are aligned with the help of centromere on the spindle fiber let's move to the next one prophase uh, early and late i hope is clear matlab is stage mein hai now this has happened and after this it's it's in this phase phase let's see what happens now nuclear come cell membrane is intact kuch change nahi hai uske andar now the nuclear membrane it completely disappears there are these centrioles and the chromosomes which were haphazardly placed aise hi pade hue the they are now aligned in the in an equatorial plane that means they are aligned in the center like a line this phase is very clearly and beautifully visible under a microscope fine so here in we'll make a few ester rays also so the significant feature of metaphase is that all the chromosomes they align in a 
इन एन इक्यूटो इक्यूटोरियल क्यों बोलते हैं बिकॉज इक्वेटर इज इन द सेंटर इन एन इक्यूटोरियल प्लेन आफ्टर द स्टेज द सेल एंटर्स Early and late in our phase. Now I'll tell you what to make in the paper once you are asked to make the stage. That also, uh, once we complete the stages. So this is beta phase. Iske baad what happens? These centrioles, yahi pe they remain here only. This also. There are spindle fibers which remain there only. Here also. And the chromosomes. Now let's magnify and see. This was the chromosome. This was the centromere. Centromere separates, and the chromosomes they split into two chromatids. S splitting हो जाएगा in anaphase. So the chromosomes will now split like this. There were four. Fine. They will split like this in early anaphase. This is early. The rest, everything remains the same. Now, when we move to late anaphase, what do we see? That यहाँ पे till now cell membrane was intact, but in late anaphase there will be a furrow formation taking place. During anaphase, spindle fibers are the same, chromat uh, centriole is the same, and these chromosomes or chromatids, for that matter, are going to move to the poles like this. They will arrange themselves on spindle fibers on the poles. They will move towards the poles and align there. So this is what happens in the late anaphase. Now. पहले क्रोमोसोम्स इंटैक्ट थे फिर स्प्लिट हो गए क्रोमैटिड्स में एंड देन दे हैव मूव्ड टू द पोल्स नाउ व्हाट हैपेंस इन टीलो फेज ये जो फरो था इट डिपेंड्स फाइन इन द टीलो फेज द फरो इट डिपेंड्स एंड बाकी सब स्ट्रक्चर्स विल नाउ रीगेन देयर शेप अगेन एज इन न्यूक्लियर मेम्ब्रेन विल बी फॉर्म्ड nucleolus will be formed these chromatins will condense to form chromatin material centriole one will go here one will go here will form the centrosome fine this is early telophase and then finally after this finally after this there are two daughter cells formed jisme everything is present as it was present in the original cell so two daughter cells are formed or two cells are formed after the division of one single cell this is the whole process of cell division now one more thing yahan se leke till here that means interphase prophase metaphase anaphase karyokinesis take place this term is <coughs> karyokinesis now karyokinesis is division of nucleus till here division of nucleus was taking place but as in when we talk about telophase the process of cytokinesis occur here cytokinesis is division of cytoplasm and the cell membrane karyo means nucleus so division of nucleus till anaphase and then in telophase cytokinesis take place and the complete division of the cell takes place forming the no, new two daughter cells this is the whole set of process of mitosis now if in paper it's asked suppose ek ye bahut important question hai aana hi hai aata hi hai that is one stage is given and they ask you to make a stage prior to that or after that तो सपोज आपको मेटाफेज दिया है और पूछा है मेक अ स्टेज प्रायर टू दैट प्रायर मतलब पहले पी फॉर प्रायर पी फॉर पहले सो so, मेटाफेज के प्रायर है प्रोफेज तो बच्चे पूछते हैं लेट बनाए अर्ली बनाए आप लेट बनाओगे सेम गोज आफ्टर आप लेट बनाओगे बिकॉज इट कवर्स एवरीथिंग फाइन सो यू विल राइट एनाफेज अगर पूछेंगे मेटाफेज के बाद कौन सा स्टेज आते हैं आप नहीं लिखोगे लेट और ली यू विल राइट एनाफेज अगर पूछेंगे मेटाफेज के प्रायर कौन सा है यू विल राइट प्रोफेज फाइन एंड इफ स्टिल यू आर कंफ्यूज वट डू यू डू यू राइट अर्ली एंड लेट प्रोफेज एंड मेक बोथ बट दैट वुड बी टाइम कंज्यूमिंग फाइन सो दिस इज हाउ वी 
do and this is these are the various stages in our next video we will be taking up meiosis thoda chota why because detail nahi hai